corner bugging. Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're gonna have a little chit chat about some news that we recently got that might change the way we consume anime forever. Before we get into this video, please do subscribe as it does help my channel grow and see my little channel grow is actually so cute. So please do subscribe and also turn on that notification bell down below so you're always aware whenever I post a video. Also, also, if you have any suggestions about what anime noise I should use in my next video opening, let me know and I will use it and I'll also tag you. So yeah. I'll also leave the link for where you can get merch if you were interested in the description box down below. So let's get into this news because I feel like people know about this but not enough. You know, I feel like we need to be talking about this. A few weeks ago, like a week ago or so, it was announced that Kiss Anime was no longer available, like the actual Kiss Anime. So RIP Kiss Anime and Kiss Anime was basically trending all over the internet, like all over Twitter. It was everywhere. Everyone and their grandmas were talking about it. So um, I must have made some jokes here and there because you know, how I do on Twitter, I'm a troll on Twitter. And I was like, okay, high key, low key, we need to talk about how third party uh, sites like Kiss Anime are actually ruining the anime industry. And people came for my butt. Like people really were coming for my ass. Like I was gonna make a video explaining exactly what I meant by that tweet. But I was like, you know what? Just watch whatever the hell you want to watch. Like, if you want to watch on Kiss Anime, if you want to watch on Crunchyroll, Funimation, whatever, just do it. Like, I'm not the one to tell you what you should do with your money, what you should do with your time. Like, then recently, actually, it was announced that top studios in Japan are actually going to be uniting together to form a YouTube channel so that people can watch anime for free. For free. Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's, What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm. As in, you can go to YouTube like back in the day, type in your anime that you want to watch and you will get all the episodes on there without getting for King. They have basically done this in the attempt to stop third party websites because they're just saying, okay, so if we just put it on YouTube, then maybe these people can stop stealing our anime if we just give it to people for free anyway. I don't think it will mean the decline of third party websites because not every single anime is going to be on there. And I think it's about time. Paying for Crunchyroll, paying for Prime, paying for Netflix all the time, it can get a bit much because it's a lot. Like some animes you can't find on Crunchyroll, you find on Netflix, you can find on Netflix, you can find on Prime. Like it's too much. And then if you can't find it on all, all three of them, where are you gonna go? You're gonna go to a third party website. And it's like, why am I paying for three different subscription services? And you don't even have fucking darker than black. Like, Let's get into this headline, y'all, because this is the headline I saw. This is on Geek Culture, and I will leave the link down below so you can go see it yourself. 30 anime studios to offer over 3,000 free titles in Anime Log YouTube channel. With anime gaining an ever-growing international fan base, it comes as no surprise that there is a demand for more accessible content. Obvi. And it seems like our wishes have been granted as 30 Japanese anime companies have come together on a newly launched YouTube channel named, named Anime Log to provide a free to provide free anime episodes for all. Right now, it seems as though they're only available in Japan right now. What I think they're doing currently is probably a test run. It says the anime shows and anime law are currently only available in Japan, but they have plans to include English and Chinese subtitles in the future 
in order to reach out to its international audiences. Kadokawa and Toei Animation are already already have their own YouTube channel, so they're already doing something similar already. But people feel as though if they join forces, there is a high possibility of growing a bigger audience and gaining more advertising revenue. And it would discourage anime fans from, you know, finding these illegally and watching it illegally if they can just watch it for free on YouTube anyway. Like if I could watch anime on YouTube, that's it. Do I think this might end Crunchyroll and Funimation and Netflix? Um, probably not, especially since Crunchyroll have been going the route of originals. So maybe not, at least not in the beginning. You know, probably not. I think if they manage to acquire a majority of the studios in Japan, then that's it. <laughs> Goodbye Crunchyroll, goodbye Funimation, that's it. But with stuff like Netflix who are starting to do more original content and Crunchyroll who are also starting to do more original content, maybe that could actually keep them running. Netflix kind of annoy me because they literally take an anime and just slap on a Netflix original series on there and they would literally just like it's like the wish you were streaming naruto on netflix and all of a sudden it's a netflix original bitch okay? it could stop netflix from having anime content on there so they don't really see it as profitable anymore so they would just take it off of there i don't know i don't even know what the next steps would be like, if they manage to do this productively and if they manage to do it in a way that is efficient and I can just watch my anime on there, I can find a majority, I guess, of animes that I want to watch, then I might just have to just cut my ties with paid subscription services. Like, there's no point anymore. Why am I paying for it if I can literally get it for free? And it directly supports these studios. And that is why I have an issue with third party websites. Because third party websites don't support the studios. But this one, this YouTube will directly support the studios. It might actually become the biggest way to stream anime. I am very excited. Like, I am so happy that this is a thing. They literally sat down and were like, third party are becoming an issue. What can we do to give the people what they want so that these people stop stealing our shit? And this was basically the answer. So I'm very, very happy they did that. I feel as though they will now get their own translator rather than you know, you know the history of Crunchyroll translation, the Crunchyroll animation translation, they are not really, if you get what I'm saying, yeah. You're getting not great <laughs> translation on Crunchyroll and animation, which is kind of shitty because we actually pay for it, so we deserve the quality. But Japanese studios care about their content more than the American, you know what I'm saying? So like Funimation, Crunchyroll, I highly doubt they probably care much about the way we stream our anime, if they cared, they'll be paying the translators a little better, so. Open your purse. I'm just excited for it. I'm happy. I would love to see One Piece on there. I can stream One Piece on there. I'm so happy. Do you think this is actually the way forward that, you know, we should start going? Or do you think this is like a step back? Or do you think we shouldn't? be doing this like we should just keep the pay subscription service or do you think this might actually get rid of their parties for good i don't know let me know what you think down below thank you guys for watching and always supporting 600 subscribers 635 subscribers that's insane like i took a break when I was on like 250 or so and I came back and I was on 600. So I am so grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.